guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. First things first, this video is sponsored. There's no affiliate link. They offered me an affiliate link, but I said no. Basically, as you guys know, I like to use Ahrefs as a tool to find keywords. However, this company here, uh, serranking.com, so if you go on Google and type in serranking, whatever, uh, and then you click on here, and I'm gonna go on plans and pricing, and you can see here that the price is 23 euros a month, compared to Ahrefs, which is a hell of a lot more expensive, okay? So yeah, the pricing here is a little bit complicated, but it's less than Ahrefs, okay? So if you're thinking about getting one of these tools that you can do things such as check the keywords of redbubble.com, or we can go on keyword research and just type in shirt, for example. It's a lot quicker than Ahrefs as well, which is super, super interesting, okay? Click on low search volume here, for example, and you can try and find some keywords this way. But better than that, in my opinion, is going on competitor, competitive research and typing in the name of the shop or marketplace that you are working on. And then we can see here organic traffic is about 14.3 million and keywords is 8.1 million. Let's just quickly compare that to Ahrefs to see, you know, kind of which one's better which one has more data, etc. I think probably Ahrefs has more data. Yeah, they have about 10 million more keywords here. So that's the price difference. The reason that there's such a big difference in price is because, oh, but actually this could be global. This could be globally, hang on. Oh no, it's the same. Yeah, they've only got about 1.6 million more keywords. Okay, so Ahrefs, they do have a few more keywords, but I don't know if those keywords are high quality or whatever it might be, okay? So let's have a look at some top keywords to see, just to see whether we can find anything useful just in the first few seconds, basically. So cool math games, no, it's not really useful. A lot of these are gonna be dirty as usual, that's just the way it is. Funny t-shirts, <laughs> it's interesting that they, uh, they rank for that. Really? What is this keyword? Is this a t-shirt? Oh my God, how many results does this have? I don't wanna say the, the word out loud, obviously. 873 results, it's rank one, and the traffic is 11,000 every month. So that's 1,000 visitors every day, at least. The, uh, no, not every day. It's like 200 visitors a day, let's say, that will land on this particular uh, website. I wish I hadn't clicked on that. Anyway, that's a really, really good example of a keyword. It's just a shame that I'm probably gonna get demonetized now. But that's the way that it is. So I love these tools, okay? And if they have a free trial, then it's even better. I believe they do have a free trial because I believe the account that they have given me is a free trial. So let's see. Yeah, so you can see here it says start free trial, view demo account. So if I click on start free trial, sign up for a 14 day trial, no credit card required. Perfect. So if you want to try this tool out, guys, you can get a free trial. I suggest what you do is you either go on competitive research. I think competitive research is the best, okay? So you can do redbubble.com, you can do um, etsy.com as well. You can do research just generally to see like, um, to see which print on demand website is better according to these tools. I will, I am making a video on that very, very soon, but yeah, for sure, check out the potential of these tools, guys, because you, this is where I found one of the best keywords I ever found. It was making 10 sales every day for two or three days, and then unfortunately it was removed from Redbubble. I believe personally it was removed by the people who I was in competition with, okay? But I have absolutely no evidence of that whatsoever. And I like to just go through these one by one. Obviously, I like to not check out the obviously, um, the obviously copyright words, I always just miss out. If you search for the keyword and Redbubble doesn't come up, it's good to type in shirt. We can assume that some people will search for shirt or card or whatever it might be. That's got a lot of results, 30,000 results. So yeah, this is basically like an Ahrefs, 
it's like a budget Ahrefs, and to be honest with you, that's exactly what we need because Ahrefs is so so expensive. Okay, so these tools, there's loads of things we can do here. I'm actually going to write the word shirt here, and I'm going to press enter and see if that actually helps me a little bit. Okay, so this, for example, this was a long time ago, but I'm just curious how many. Um, this has been and gone, okay? This is a trend that has been and gone. So this is pointless to make. I'm just curious how many results Redbubble actually has. 13,000, holy crap. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Yellowstone shirt, I like that. So the reason I like to put shirt, or you can also put sticker, or literally any keyword you want, is because when someone searches for the word shirt into Google, it's what's known as a buyer keyword, okay? So a buyer keyword means that the person who is searching for it is looking to buy. So if you put the word shirt inside the keyword like this, it means that there's a very, very high chance that they are looking to buy whatever it is they're searching for. So it's best to put keywords here. So I can put sticker as well, for example. And you can just scroll through and just keep looking. So the higher up it is, the better it's going to be. <clears throat> and you will find some amazing keywords like this. I wonder how many results this has. Yeah. Oh, not that many. Only 3,000 results. I think there's a good chance of ranking for this. 22,000 every month. Redbubble is ranked four. Okay. But it doesn't mean you can't help it move up by creating the design. I talked about this probably a year and a half ago on my channel, but I have a theory where if people add designs here and they are all exact phrase matches, okay? So interestingly, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, six, okay? Um, exact phrase matches on this page, which means, in my opinion, there is a huge chance what, sorry, just quickly, what do I mean by exact phrase match? It means that this title has the exact phrase in it, okay? But because titles are the strongest SEO, it means if we make a design that has this in the title, in my opinion, we can rank on that page more easily. So that's a really, really interesting keyword right there. Another thing, while I'm looking at this now, I'm seeing some really, really good ideas for articles, okay? So I talked about this before. If I search for guitar sticker, let's see if there's any articles or if they're all just products. Okay, so if I put best guitar sticker, one of these should be an article, let's have a look. So yeah, YouTube videos, 20 stickers for my guitar ideas. There we go. Cool fretboard guitar sticker ideas you should know of. So, I've talked about this before on my channel, guys. This is another way we can use this tool on very competitive keywords, okay? So, I see guitar sticker here. It's an interesting keyword to me, but not because I'm going to put it here, okay? So, I'm going to search it here. There'll be 50,000, 250,000 results, okay? That's not very good, but there are some articles here, okay? So if I scroll down, I want to see if there are actually some stickers here. Oh, these are like how to learn to play guitar stickers. You could probably make these as well. Uh, this might be better, better for Etsy, but th this could be a good seller, to be honest with you. I thought it meant just stickers for your guitar, but whatever. Let's say it was stickers for guitars. Maybe we should use a different example here. So let's just do stickers laptop, okay? As an example, so best stickers laptop. If I search for this, there we go, perfect. The first one, bestproducts.com, 22 best laptop stickers to customize your computer. This was published in 2018, okay? This is, this is much better, laptopmag.com, okay? So, can we do the same thing as these websites? Yes, we can. We can either create our own blog, and then all we do is we make these articles. They're really, really easy to make, okay? And then all you do is you put your Redbubble link here. So this is actually an Etsy link. And I'm guessing it's a affiliate. Yes, it's, a red, it's an Etsy affiliate link. So this is maybe there. This is unbelievable, guys. This is such a good tool for doing this kind of thing. Okay. 
So laptop stickers, it's an obvious keyword, but we can also, if we, for example, search this, this should work. I'm not, I haven't tried this yet, but this should work. It should tell us the keywords that this exact page is ranking for. Are you kidding me? This one page is ranking for 1.8 million keywords now. Oh no, it's just bestproducts.com, Jesus. So what we can do here is we can actually have a look at, yeah, so they're, they're big on the cool laptop stickers, stickers for laptops, sticker for laptop, vinyl stickers for laptops, all of these things, okay, we stick them in our article, we put our Redbubble products here, and yeah, it's absolutely golden. This is actually an Amazon, This is that that will be an affiliate link as well. This is an Etsy link, what is this? Redbubble, but it's now gone. This is another opportunity, guys. Let me tell you about this as well. This is called a broken link, okay? So this was originally a red bubble work, but the link is broken. So what I personally would do now, if I was, if I was interested, I would contact this person and I would say to them, your link is broken. Do you want to put my link to a very similar piece of art, okay? I hope that makes sense. So we could go to contact, I'll just do control F, contact, contact us, and then write them an email and say, give them a link to this article and say, number four is a broken link. Do you want to replace that broken link with my design? Here's my design, let me know what you think. And then you might be able to just make sales that way as well. Okay, so if I wanted to see the exact keywords of that specific URL, I think you click here and press a URL and then search it, that should work. Yeah, keywords, still loads and loads of keywords. Imagine how much traffic you could get by just writing a similar article, either on your own website, or you can even just write it for free on Medium, okay? So all you need to do is you take the idea for the article, okay? You take these keywords, and I just copy this, really? Okay, apparently I can't just copy this. So you just copy these keywords, or you, I, I can't be bothered ex exporting them now, but you'd export them, and then you'd put them into this article, and you would just write around those keywords, okay? Uh, if you are watching this, the people that made this tool, please just add a copy. Like, why is there not a copy here? Okay, anyway, so account limit eight out of 5K. So, so far I've only used 8,000 of my trial, which is really, really good. It's, you know, I would have expected to have used more than that. That's only like 0.00000% or whatever it might be. So I recommend trying this tool out, getting the trial, and just seeing what magic you can find because this is where the gold is, guys. I've talked about this a few times. I made a 45 minute video explaining why Ahrefs is the best for Redbubble print on demand keyword research. And the reason I gave is because this is using direct Google information. It's not using Redbubble information or you know where the trends are coming from, where everyone else gets their keywords. Okay, so if you look at a lot of the keyword tools that are that exist in the space, in the print on demand space, a lot of them are just oversaturated. So as soon as they put a keyword on there, bang, it's gone. But the beautiful thing about a tool like this, and I know there's a lot of trash on here, but there's also a lot of gold to be found, okay? So just search through this very, very slowly, and eventually you will find some amazing stuff, I promise you. The more I'm thinking about this, the more um, incredible I think this is for, uh, specifically for finding keyword ideas for articles to promote your print-on-demand business. So yeah, I'm probably gonna leave it there, but I'm just gonna check a few more keywords just to see if I can find any, any more gold while, while I've got you, while I'm here. And yeah, really massive shout out to SE Ranking or Seranking, I don't really know how to say your name, for offering to sponsor me, um, sponsoring this video, I really, really appreciate it. Okay, seems like a weird keyword. 689 results, how many searches? 4.4 thousand, position four, and it's moving up. So it could potentially get to rank one eventually. 
always check copyright, but that's a super interesting keyword for me. And then another thing we can do is we can write state park and then sticker, okay? So this is another reason I love these tools. And we can see if there's anything else like Minnesota State Park, State Park sticker, I don't know, whatever. You get the idea, guys. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope this helps because a lot of people say to me, Ahrefs is too expensive, which is very, very true. This is like a budget Ahrefs that has the same amount of keywords pretty much, so it's not even a budget version. It's just cheaper. Thanks for watching, hope this helps. Peace out.